So it looks like we're finally getting a Toad action figure in the Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary line, but is this one worth your money and does it surpass the original? Be sure you stick around until the end, Soulmates, because we're going to talk about whether or not we want to see a remake of Toy Biz's Marvel Legends Series 2. If you support what I do, please click subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single video of mine when it comes out. So the time has finally come, and I was wondering whether or not we were going to see a remake of Toad or not, because it seems like Hasbro's been dragging their feet on this one, but it's finally here, and looking at the original Toy Biz Toad, that one was loaded with details. If you guys haven't seen that one before, it was actually a pretty decent action figure, considering what it was. It had very limited articulation because it wasn't designed with the Marvel Legends brand in mind when it was made. He's a very statuesque figure. He's got lots of pretty textures all over him. You can see the patches on his clothes. You can see the stitches on everything. You can feel the model texture of the boots and his little loincloth and his collar. He's a really great looking action figure and also it's a nice representation of Toad because the classic Toad that kind of a lot of people think of when they think of Toad is that he looks like a bloated figure with very skinny limbs. Aside from that, he also comes with a really cool looking base where he's standing by a creek, apparently picking up toads. The obvious drawback of Marvel Legends Series 1 Toad is that he didn't have a lot of articulation. The most you could really do with him was he had ball jointed shoulders and those moved around pretty well, but everything else looks like it was pretty well stuck where it was except you could move things around a little bit. And that takes us to the version by Hasbro that's been done to celebrate Marvel Legends 20th anniversary. Obviously this one has been modernized in that it has Hasbro's usual tricks where it includes an extra head that has a tongue that shoots out and it actually does look pretty cool the way it does that and he has an extra set of hands, and he has a couple of toads. He can't hold on to the toads or anything because he has open hands and closed fists, so the toads are kind of just there as a reference to the original action figure. And instead of the highly detailed base that we got with the original Toy Biz release, we now get a cardboard backdrop, and it's just as cheesy as all the others. It does not look good, and it's a shallow imitation of what we got with the original Toy Biz toys. Looking at Hasbro's version of Toad, right away you can tell that the colors really pop on it. And I actually wish that the yellow gold color that we're seeing on him were more of an orange in line with Toad's traditional appearance. But it is what it is, and I also wish that the purple were a little darker than what it is. It's a lavender on him instead of the dark purple that it probably should be. That said, there have been a handful of different depictions of the colors on Toad's costume, so that's not really my main concern for this action figure. What does concern me is that this doesn't really feel like Toad to me, because he seems a little too human to be Toad. Obviously, it's based on a more modern Toad design. Does that make it bad? No. It's just personal preference on my part. Looking at this toy, you can see lots of new stuff going on. There's all kinds of folds all over the torso and the legs, but the arms for some reason are being reused, and that's really disappointing because this could have been a pretty slam dunk modern version of Toad, but then they decide, oh, we'll just reuse the arms. And you can tell they're being reused because they have pins in them. It would have looked better if they had created new arms and put folds on those just like they did the rest of his costume. Instead, they decided to cheap out and just recycle more parts. And that's really lame for something that's gonna cost about 34, 35 bucks. And that's the thing, for 34 bucks, you're getting into diamond select territory. And then you have to start weighing your options and decide if you'd rather take your money elsewhere and just get a Diamond Select Marvel action figure. You spend about a dollar more and you can get a Taskmaster action figure from Diamond Select that's a much better quality toy and it's more comic book accurate. And not only that, but when you look at what they're charging for Hulk, they're charging $44 for Hulk. But if you go to Diamond Select, you can get a Rampaging Hulk for as much as $10 cheaper 
depending on where you shop. Is Toad a pretty decent action figure? Yeah, he's pretty decent. You look at his articulation and it's really great because they got the ab crunch as well as the torso cut and that's pretty much the ultimate in torso articulation these days, I think. But you really have to ask yourself right now, at $34, is it really worth going out and getting a Marvel Legends at that price point when you can get a Diamond Select at that same price point and sometimes even cheaper? If I had to say whether or not Toad was worth your money, I would probably land on the side of no. Because... I don't think there should be any reuse on a toy at this price point. I think that everything on the sculpt should be absolutely original. And I think that all the accessories, base included, should be really impressive and not just a cardboard backdrop. And if they didn't want to do better than the base that they included, they probably should have included more stuff. I don't know what they could have included, but I think there should have been more in there. Maybe another head? Maybe another set of hands. In my mind, there's nothing here that says this should cost more than standard price, which is $25, and that's already pushing it a lot. Since we are celebrating the 20th anniversary of Marvel Legends Soulmates, and Series 2 was released in September of 2002, I have to ask you guys, do you want to see a Series 2 redone by Hasbro? And keep in mind that this would be a Fantastic Four themed wave as it was back then. And it would contain Doctor Doom, The Thing, Human Torch, and Namor, The Submariner. Personally, I would like to see them redo Series 2 just to see what they do with it. And if they decide to do that, I hope they put a little bit more effort into the wave than they did with Series 1, because it's a little disappointing after seeing what they did. I was expecting a little bit more effort. Well, Soulmates, what do you think of this Toad action figure? Is this one that you want for your collection, or is this one that you're a little cool on, and maybe you're going to skip this one? Maybe you haven't been the biggest fan of this 20th anniversary celebration, and you were expecting a little bit more from the line too. Also, with the rising price points, are you thinking about collecting more Diamond Select toys? And finally, since they were both released in 2002, do you want to see a re-release of Marvel Legends Series 2 and 3 by Toy Biz? I don't know guys, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you what you think about that. I'll be back again soon with some more thoughts about new comic book toy news. And until then, with love from me to you, Bye-bye.